guys, it's Kamora Davis. I'm a senior at Peoria High School. And it's Sterling Atkins Dutro, also a senior at Peoria High School. And today we are here with Dr. Annette Coleman. Hello, I'm Annette Coleman. I am the Director of Social Emotional Learning, community-based. What does that mean for you? What do you do in your role as a social emotional lead? What I do is I reach out to community-based organizations and see what they offer for our community as it relates to students. So we provide those services. We connect students, families with services throughout the community. Awesome. <laughs> Why did you decide to go into your current role? I was actually asked about that. And after being an educator within a school building for the past 30 years, I thought it might be great. I'm also a lifetime Peoria resident, so I'm always willing to connect individuals and help within the community. So you mentioned you have a long career in education. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I was a fourth grade teacher for eight years. I was a dean of students, and I've been a primary, middle, and high school principal. Where were you a teacher at for fourth grade? And I was going to ask the same question. At Ting Primary School. It's no longer in existence. It's on Ann Street on the south side of Peoria. Oh, I never heard of that school. Me either. Maybe because we're 17. Can you tell us about Handle with Care and how it helps educators and support students? I love Handle with Care. Um, We receive alerts every day of where a student has had or a a household has had an adverse experience where the police have been called over and then with handle with care we're able to connect with kids and see how we can help them what we can do and it's seriously and I can't stress this enough about the how it is not about what happened or why that happened or did you know or tell me more hey I'm Annette Coleman I'm Dr. Coleman how are you I just want you to know I'm here for you if you need me it's not about anything other than that and kind of looking out for that student and handling them with care Why do you think specifically social emotional learning is so needed around the area? I think prior to the pandemic, pandemic, I think it was definitely needed. But I think the isolation that it caused really allowed individuals to look inside and see their feelings, not being able to communicate or be with other people. I think that really took a toll on individuals, students, adults, all of us. And it was also a pandemic. So Mm -hmm. we were that also Mm -hmm. pulled out a lot of emotions that we had or didn't know we had. So I think that now more than ever, we are dealing with a lot of anxiety, depression, things that came out of that. Not saying that we didn't have that prior to because we definitely did. But more than ever, I think we need coping skills, strategies, support, all those interventions to help us just kind of. I I hate to say return to normal, but kind of, you know, know how to handle those feelings. I agree. When you were a student, did you have anyone at school that was there for you? I did. I am a graduate, a proud, proud graduate of Peoria High School. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I'm going to really focus at the high school level. My uh, high school counselor was amazing. His name was Randy Sleeth, and he has passed away. But I could always come back to him, even as a college student, and he'd help me and show me things and was very wonderful. And also Mike Lawless, who is still around, he assists with tracking, track coaching. And he also was very inspirational, always someone I can come and talk to. So those are people in school, lots of people in the community. My parents knew several people and had me involved in lots of organizations and things like that. So, But at school in particular, my teacher and my counselor were amazing. Awesome. How have times changed since you were a student? Things were a lot more relaxed, in my opinion. We were actually kids. We worried about kid things. Mm -hmm. And I know that now a lot of students have to deal with being breadwinners for their homes, taking care of younger siblings, just a lot more of those kind of things. And I think we loved school. Honestly, I don't remember, like, we we did our senior gyp day, but we didn't, like, I know a lot of kids do not come to school for various reasons. My friends and I were at school, like, every day, and maybe I was a nerd, but we were here, we loved it, we, we enjoyed it, and we enjoyed just being teenagers and not having to worry about all the other things that were going on in the world. Anything you want to leave with the audience? 
You know, I'm very proud of the current Peoria High School students. They have done an amazing job. Um, they make me proud to say that I'm an alum and will continue to uh, contribute to Peoria High School. Thank you so Thank much you. for being on the podcast today. Thank you for having me. Of course. I love your new facilities here at Peoria High. Thank you for listening to the Handle with Care podcast. We hope this episode gave you a better understanding of what students and staff may be going through and ways to support them. Remember, you never know what the person next to you is going through. If this episode resonated with you and you need resources but are not quite sure where to find them, they are located on the same page as the podcast.